Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. audio plugged in here now there we go sorry folks audio set to go welcome into the 2019 Missoula Mavericks Memorial Tournament Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we get set to go it is the Walla Walla Bears versus Centralia for the first game game four on the tournament game one on the day with the Centralia Washington boys at one and one and the Walla Walla Bears one and oh after their win over the Missoula Mavericks last night so this will be a good one between two talented teams. We'll get into our starting lineups. The Bears, as the visiting teams, start off with Kyler Tyner, the center fielder. Batting second is Taylor Hamada, the designated hitter. Kyron Morris is the shortstop, batting third. Kobe Morris, the right fielder, will bat fourth. Batting fifth is Caleb Ethan. That's the center, the catcher. Elliot Marks bats six. He's the first baseman. The second baseman, Matt McKenzie, bats seventh. Batting eighth is Caden McCaw, the left fielder. And the third baseman, Josh Bergiven, is the round out. For the pitcher's mound, it is Ben Ortz for the Bears. For, Wa for Centralia, we've got Jackson Hull on the Five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. As we get for get ready for our first pitch of the game. And the first pitch will come in at 12.04 with a 53 degree temperature here at Lindbergh Craig Field. And the first pitch is a strike. We get a foul ball now to take it to 0-2 on the count. So for Centralia, leading off, it's Jared Winters, the shortstop. Tegan Zelliot, the center fielder, bat second. Batting third as the pitch comes in, and we'll have ball one. One and two to Tyner. Max Taylor bats third. He's the left fielder. The first baseman, Eli Brown, will have the number four spot as we have the pitch. This one's banged foul, and we stay at one and two. Bodie Smith is the catcher, batting fifth. Batting sixth is Britt Lusk. He's at third base. Eli Brown is at first base. Batting seventh is Jackson Hull, as this one's going to be swung on, and this will be a dropped third strike, so that will have the runner reach. Designator hitter number 15, Hater Hamada. So Taylor Hamada comes to the plate for the Bears. Luke Bennett is in right field, batting eighth, and rounding out the order is Carter Olson, the second baseman. Jackson Hull on the pitcher's mound for Centralia as he'll bring in ball one. We got to see Hull a little bit yesterday as he would come in and pitch a couple of innings against the Spuds. 1-0 and on the count. And a pitch over the plate for strike one. Even count at one. So for our officials for today's first game, it's Mike Hughes behind the plate and Klein Voorhees in the field. Here's the stretch and set by Hull. And it's upstairs to bring it to ball two, two and one on the count. 
So games today are at 12, obviously, with the first game right now, Centralia and the Bears. 2.30, we'll have the Spuds of Central Washington and the Bears. As we go back outside for ball three. Five o'clock game is Central Washington and the Twins, and the nightcap is the Missoula Mavericks and the Twins. So it'll be the Bears with a doubleheader, the Washington Spuds, Central Washington Spuds with a doubleheader today as this one swung on and we'll have a full count at three and two. And the Twins will have doubleheaders today. So three teams with doubleheaders on the day. Makes for a full day of action. Here's the payoff pitch. Runner's going to go, and it's a walk to put runners at first and second for the Bears. The shortstop, number 13, Kyron Morris. So we go to Kyron Morris with runners at first and second and no outs. Saturday we'll have three games as we'll start at 2.30. Lewis and Clark Twins and the Walla Walla Bears. The Mavericks will take on Central Washington at 5, and the Mavericks have Centralia at 7.30. So Saturday is a doubleheader for the Missoula Mavericks. Hull now on the rubber, waiting for Morris to step in. Runners at first and second, no outs on the board, top of the first inning. Here's the pitch, and it'll be fouled down the first baseline to start out at strike one. Sunday are the seeding games, so we'll have 10 a.m., 5 versus 4. 12.30 will be 2 versus 3. As this one's going to tag Morris in the backside, and the runner will be loaded up. Off the hit by pitch. Kobe Morris comes to the plate. The right fielder with loaded bases and no outs. We've got Tyner loaded up. Here's the pitch. Upstairs and we'll have ball one. Hamada at second and Morris at first. Here's the 1 and 0. Roller. It's going to get between short and third. And Walla Walla will keep the bases loaded as one run is earned. The catcher number 21, Caleb Ethan. And we go to Caleb Ethan. Loaded bases and no outs. Ethan is the catcher for Walla Walla today. And this one's upstairs for a ball. <clears throat> Foul ball will take us to an even count. So looking at Sunday, as I mentioned, we've got 10 o'clock for 4 versus 5, 12.30 for 3 versus 2, and then 3 o'clock is the championship game. And this one's hit right at Hull. He'll get a glove on it. The throw home for the force out is wide. It goes to the wall. The runner from second is around the corner on his way to third. Everybody will make a move ahead off of the air. And it's now a 3-0 game. And an error charged. to Centralia. So we get a visit out to the mound. The first baseman, number 10, Elliot Marks. So we come to the first baseman, Elliot Marks, now.
pitch comes in to even the count out at one apiece. And another wild pitch will bring the runner home from third. And we get 4-1 with an even count at 2, or 4-0. And a walk will put runners on the corners now for the Bears with no outs. Takes us to Matt McKenzie. For the Bears. Number seven spot batter, the second baseman. No outs. Runners on the corners. Here's the pitch. And that one will find the plate for strike one. Hull checks the runner at first, now the stretch and set. And this one's going to roll out to the shortstop. He'll have the pickup, the toss to second, down the line to first, and the double play will be had off of the tag. Runner from third will score, and there's two away. The Bears leading 5-0. So for McCaw, we'll get ball one. Swung on to even the count. Here's the pitch. Upstairs brings up ball two. Centralia with the gate open down the first baseline. Warming up an arm. Upstairs. Makes it three and one on the count. Bottom of the order in the on-deck circle for the Bears. Here's the pitch. And that'll be a walk after the bases get cleared on the double play. Runner loaded up. And with two outs, we get the bottom of the order, Josh Bergevin. Here's Hull with the stretch and set. And he'll place it over the plate for strike one. Here's the pitch. Upstairs. Ball one, one and one on the count. Top of the order in the on-deck circle, Jared Winters for the Bears. Two outs and a runner at first. Here's the pitch, and this one's back over the plate for strike two. So Hull getting into a rhythm here against the bottom of the order. He's got 34 pitches here in the first inning. 17 over the plate, as this one will be across the chin, and we'll go even on the count at two. Stretch and set. And a low pitch will take us to a full count at three and two. The Bears lead 5-0 here in the first inning. One hit. As Hole will check the runner. And it looks like the 
young man in the bullpen as the runner's going to go, and it's a strikeout to end the side. So five runs earned off a of one hit and one left behind. It will be Centralia's turn to bat right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. When your workout window is small, you don't want to travel far. Wait for parking and hope for an open machine. Let Fuel Fitness and Nutrition ignite your life with no waiting. Fuel has plentiful parking and 30,000 square feet of weight and cardio training equipment. When you want it, you'll get it at Fuel. Businesses don't hesitate to sign up with Fuel. We have enough parking and equipment to handle your entire staff and 24-7 access so they can get in shape around work schedules. Ignite your life with no waiting at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition in the Holiday Village Shopping Center. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A tournaments July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball tournaments. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we drop to the bottom of the first inning. Walla Walla leading 5-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. We get Ben Ortz on the Five Valley Auto Pitchers mound with Jared Winters to lead off the shortstop. So Winters, Zelliot, and Taylor. Zelliot in the on deck and Taylor in the hole. We had a little moisture before the game. It was a nice little gully washer as we had to close the windows down here moisture coming in on all the electronics but uh, I think that we've got a window here in the radar where we're gonna be able to get our games in without too much fuss as the percentage of rain does drop down as we get through the day so we get Jared Winters at the plate and Ben Orts on the hill. Here's the first pitch for the Bears and it's going to be outside for ball one. Centralia going one and one as this one has popped over short and in the glove and that's one away here in the bottom of the first. Brings up Tegan Zilliot. Ortiz. Now with the stretch and set. And it's outside for a ball. <clears throat> the pitch. And that one will catch the outside of the plate on the left-hand batter. So Centralia opened with a win against the Central Washington Spuds, 11-6. And then the Twins came back. And picked up the win 8-6 over Centralia as this one's fouled down the first base line. Go one and two on the count. One out, nobody on, bottom of the first inning. And there's a little history between the Twins and Centralia as the manager for Centralia was the manager for the Twins for 15 years. And then he also coached the Lewiston, Idaho high school team as well as we get an even count at two apiece. So it's kind of fun to see those two coaches get against each other because Maurer for the Twins is also a former Legion player for them as this one's reached out, fouled off, and we stay at two and two. So seeing the camaraderie between those two coaches was really fun and the smiles and the joking around that they were doing before the game. Ortiz leans in and the stretch and set. A swing and we'll have the second out on the strikeout swinging. Takes us to Max Taylor.
with one, two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. And it'll be just outside for ball one. Mike Use, our plate umpire, with Klein Voorhees standing at first base for the moment. He's the field umpire. We run a two-man crew here in Montana. As this one drops in low, and we get ball two, two and oh, two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the first. Walla Walla leading Centralia 5 0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's Ortiz with the pitch, and this one will roll to the third baseman. Dives in the dirt. The throw to first is rocketed over, but it will not be in time. No, they're going to say it's out. And that will be the side. So some good defensive infield play. And Walla Walla holds off Centralia. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Warning, warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning. Warning, this is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the second inning, Walla Walla leading Centralia 5-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Jackson Hole will come in for his second inning of duty against the Bears and we will have the top of the order for Walla Walla, I mean for its hull for Centralia, I apologize, and then Kyler Tyner, the center fielder. So the leadoff batter to lead off the inning here in the second as Walla Walla would bat through their order. And the umpire, Mike Hughes, wanting the players inside the dugout for safety purposes, of course. And the gate open for entry to the field, so players wanting to have that closed as well. Here's the pitch by Hull, and it'll be off the glove. Ball one. One and oh, so it was a dropped third strike for Tyner to reach his first at bat. This one's upstairs, and we get ball two. Big, beefy clouds in the sky today. Yesterday we had some roll through, we had a little bit of everything as it's three and oh on the count to Tyner. Little hail, little droplet, some rain, heavy winds, and the third ball pitch turns into three and one on the count. And here comes that wind again, as you can hear it on the crowd mic. Not as stiff as it was yesterday, though, and that's a walk to load Tyner up for the second time today. Takes us to Taylor Hamada, the designated hitter. One on, no outs. Hamada settles in. He was walked his first at bat today. Or plate appearance. As we get the inside pitch, trying to change my terminology on things. Hull now with the stretch and set. Runner's going to go. Ball's fouled off. And we'll be even on the count as Tyner will jog back to first. Of 
So the moisture making its way back into the booth here with a little downpour. We go two and one on the count. Here's the pitch inside. Three and one. Here's Hole with the pitch. And this one's sent into right fielder. Goes over the right fielder's head as he didn't have the right read. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. They bring around the runner from first. Tyner on his way home as the throw is made. And Hamada will stand at third as the ball bounces in. And the Bears pick up where they left off in the bottom of the first. And that will bring out the pitching coach. And that will be a pitching change as we did see. And the coach is actually going to bring Hull out, back out to the pitcher's mound. Puts his arm around him, and it looks like we're going to have the third baseman come out and pitch. So we'll step aside as we have the change. Britt Lusk looking to be the new pitcher on the mound. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We do have the changes now as Britt Lusk has made his way to the Five Valley Auto Pitchers Mound. Eli Brown stands at third, and Jackson Hull is at first for Centralia. And... It will be Kyron Morris to start things off against Lusk. So, looking at our stats here, as we get the first pitch dropped in. And it's going to hit the batter. Runner's going to come home. They're going to say it's not a hit by pitch. And the bases are cleared for the Bears. We'll have ball one. For Hull, it would be one inning, 47 pitches, 21 of them over the plate, six runs, four of them earned off of two hits. He struck out two, hit one, and walked four. So we get Lusk. And... This one's dropped in for ball two to Kyron Morris. Morris was hit by a pitch, his first at-bat. He's going to bang this one foul to bring up strike one. So 
So Morris will settle back in. It's Kyron Morris at the plate with Kobe Morris in the on-deck circle as this one goes outside to bring up ball three. Three and one on the count. The Bears lead 7-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's one foul down the first base line. And a poor attempt by the first base coach to put bare hands on that one. As he gets a boo from the crowd. Full count. Payoff pitch on its way. And this one's beat down the first baseline once again. And we'll stay at three and two. So you've got Eli Brown at third, Jared Winters at short. Carter Olson is the second baseman in Jackson Hole, holding down first with Bodie Smith behind the plate at catcher. This one's high down the third baseline foul, and there's a group of three there, but it's not able to get into a glove, and that will be leaving us at three and two. So three and two, nobody on and no outs. Two runs earned here in the top of the second inning. Here's the pitch. And this one's a line drive. The second baseman can't get a glove on it, so it'll bounce into right field. That'll bring up Kobe Morris with one on and no outs. And a foul ball for Kobe. We'll start him out at strike one. For Morris, it would be a single, his first at bat. Morris in the number four spot in the order. Here's the pitch, and that one, it's Bodie Smith doing a good job to keep the ball in front of him as we go even. Here's the pitch, low for a ball. One and one, or two and one on the count. Here's the pitch, and this one's going to hop into the gap. The center fielder will run up on it. It's the left fielder to put it in the glove, and that will be the first out of the inning. Number 21, Caleb Ethan. Takes us to Caleb Ethan with one out, one on for the Bears. Top of the second. Here's the stretch and set for Britt Lusk. And this one's punched upstairs. Smith says he's got it and he does, and that's two away. Takes us to Elliot Marks with two outs and a runner at first. Here's the pitch over the plate, and we'll have strike one. So Britt Lusk coming in, in for Hull, who started out. And Lusk trying to work his way through the second here. Here's the throw to first, and it's high, forcing Morris, Co Kyron Morris to dive back in. We've got Matt McKenzie in the on-deck circle for Walla Walla. Here's the stretch and set. And a foul ball will bring up strike two. Oh and two. Here's the pitch. 
Bounces in the dirt. It's going to get away from the catcher. The runner will advance to second, and that'll make us one and two on the count. So Marks settles back in. Marks was walked his first at bat. And this one's hit right over second. They wave around the runner from second. He'll grab a gear. The throw is made. Nope, it'll be held up. And that'll be a run earned for Walla Walla to make it 8-0 off the single. Number five, Matt McKenzie. We go to Matt McKenzie, the second baseman, with two outs and a runner at first for Walla Walla. Here's the pitch upstairs, and we'll have ball one. And these Washington teams and Idaho teams, they are on limited Legion games as this one's fouled back. Even the count at one apiece. As Washington and Idaho have high school baseball as opposed to Montana. Who does not have baseball. And as strike two is brought in. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the one and two to McKenzie. And he'll swing. This one's a short, high ball into right field, and the right fielder wraps his glove around it. That's the side. Three runs earned, one left behind, and we go to the bottom of the second right after this. You're watching Legion Baseball on the Missoula Pep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it. Starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network at Lindbergh Craig Field for the 2019 Maverick Memorial Tournament. We've got Walla Walla and Centralia on the field for game one on the day. It's game four on the weekend. Well, we've had some moisture today, so fans are cleaning water off the seats, trying to get comfortable here. For the game, we come to the bottom of the second and we've got Eli Brown at the plate for Centralia with Ben Ortiz on the Five Valley Auto Pitcher's Mound. The Bears lead Centralia 8-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. And this one's a line drive into right field. It's a hop in front of the right fielder. And Centralia will have their first hit of the game. The catcher number seven, Bodie Smith. We go to Bodie Smith for Centralia with one on and no outs, looking to earn some runs to start chipping away at Walla Walla's lead. Here's the pitch outside for a ball. So the five, six, or four, five, six batters on the schedule. We've got Bodie Smith at the plate as this one's hopped high into center fielder. Center fielder misjudged it. Can't get his glove on it. That will advance the runners as it's picked up at the warning track. The throw is made and we'll have runners at second and third. And they are gonna score that one as a hit. And 
And Centralia will pick up hits back to back here. In the bottom of the second. So Centralia with their first threat at third with Eli Brown as Britt Lusk comes to the plate with no outs. Ortiz with his first hiccup of the day. Pitch on the way inside and we'll have ball one. <clears throat> we wanna say hello to all of the Walla Walla and Centralia fans that are watching today. We're not able to make the trip as this one's a hopper into center field once again. This one's gonna land between right field and short as the throw is made to come in, but the score will be earned and Centralia has found themselves on the board 8-1. First base number five, Jackson Hull. So with no outs on the board, we go to Jackson Hull with runners on the corners, and that'll have Ethan go out and talk to Ortiz for a quick conference while our umpire cleans the plate off. Runners on the corners. Jackson Hull, his first at-bat of the game. We've got Luke Bennett in the on-deck circle for Centralia. And a bulk is called. Bringing home the run to make it eight to two. Here's the pitch. And it's over the plate for strike one to Hull. So eight two now on the Fast Trip Conical scoreboard. Favoring Walla Walla. Sun poking out to grace us for a few moments. And a reach is going to be hopped. Center fielder will run up on it. It's going to hop in front of the center fielder, and that'll put runners at first and second. So Centralia has been able to use the bat to place the ball right in the soft spot. The right fielder, number six, Luke Bennett. And we've got Luke Bennett, the number eight spot batter, at the plate. Runners at first and second, no outs for Centralia. As Bennett settles in, here's the pitch. And it's inside for ball one as Bennett will slide out of the way. The pitch. Inside on the plate for strike one as Hughes will bark out the strike call. Runners at first and second. Pitch on the way. This one's right at the pitcher. He can't put a glove on it. Slides past the second baseman and Grenfeld will hold the runner at third to keep the bases loaded with no outs. And Centralia racking up the hits now in the bottom of the second as they've found their stride. No outs on the board, and that'll bring out the pitching coach for Walla Walla. Well, right here in Montana, we have the only gym from Montana for Montana with six locations throughout the state. It's Fuel Fitness that will get you with your workout on the go. Check out Fuel Fitness online at www.clubfitness.com for a location near you and get started today. Fuel Fitness is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. So with the conference broken up by use. No outs, loaded bases, Carter Olson at the plate. Bottom of the order for Centralia. 
Here's Ortiz with the pitch. And this one's going to be bounced out. Second baseman does get a glove on it. He dives in the dirt. The throw to first, and there's one away as the runner comes across the plate at home. Centralia will earn a run, and there's one out on the board with runners at second and third. Number 22, Garrett Winter. We go to Jared Winters, top of the order, with one out. Here's the pitch. And it's delivered over the plate for strike one. So Ortiz laboring a little bit here in the second inning with three runs earned by Centralia. This one's outside. And we go even on the count. Here's the pitch. And this one's hopped. Shortstop gets his hand on it. Throw to first will not be in time. It's going to be an error, which will allow the runner from third to come home. And two runs earned. And Centralia is now down three runs, 8-5. And this one will get the runner on. And Centralia will have runners on the corners. Here's one to the third baseman. The third baseman can't put a glove on it. And that's another run earned as it goes deep down the foul line and it'll... And a run earned off of the hit to make it 8-6 now in the bottom of the second. And this one's pinged foul by Eli Brown to bring up strike one. So it's now 8-6. Walla Walla on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard with Taylor at second and Zilliot at third. The wild pitch will get away. Runner will advance the throw and they're going to say safe at home. With the runner advancing to third off the wild pitch. And it's now a one-run game. So a runner at third with a 1-1 count to Eli Brown. He singled his first at-bat. Lots of action here in the bottom of the second as this one's hit foul. To bring up strike two, one and two. One out on the board. With Centralia flipping the switch and earning seven runs so far as this one's outside for ball two to even us out on the count. Eight, seven on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Walla Walla holding on to a one run lead with a threat at third. This one's into left field. Left fielder tracks it down. Here's the glove. Now it's thrown in. It's a high throw. It's going to be off target, and the bases will be cleared off the sack fly with a run earned. And there's two away. Number 
We go to Bodie Smith with two outs. As Centralia has taken its turn to bat around. And this one is going to be back into left field. And the left fielder gets it in the glove on the shoulder, and that will be the side. Eight runs earned off of eight hits here in the bottom of the second. Tie game going into the top of the third. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN as we come to the top of the third inning. Walla Walla and Centralia tied at eight apiece. 16 runs earned in the first two innings. Off of 12 hits. And we've got a race here, folks. For the 2019 Maverick Memorial Tournament, all games are seven innings. We have an eight-run rule after five innings. Home team determined by a coin toss, except for when the Mavericks are playing. They're automatically a home team. And teams will be seeded for Sunday's play. Seed number one will play winner of seed three and two for the championship. So the way things work out is the top seed, the, one, the team with the best record has the top seed. After all, tiebreakers are taken care of, if any are needed. Then we'll have four and five play each other at 10 o'clock on Sunday and two and three at 12.30 for a chance to play the top team. It is Britt Lusk on the Five Valley Other Pitchers mound and the first pitch is sent in for ball one up against Caden McCaw. So McCaw walked his first at bat. We are at the bottom of the order, the eight, nine batters scheduled on the inning as we bring up ball two. As we get the breeze coming in heavy from the northwest once again today. Upstairs, ball three. And the gate open down the third base line as Walla Walla will warm up a fresh arm. And the wind picking up the awning down the first base line here. So batting the hatches as this one is going to be a walk to lead the inning. Takes us to the bottom of the order for Walla Walla, Josh Bergevin. Number 12, Josh Bergevin. Throw to first. Wind picking up across the field as it's Blowing dirt across the grass. This one will be fouled back or swung on. It was a strike. Sounded like there was contact, but it will make it 0 and 1 to Bergevin. He was struck out his first at bat. Here's the pitch outside for a ball to go 1 and 1. Here's the pitch upstairs, across the years, makes it two and one. So the next game is scheduled for 2.30, and that will be Central Washington and Walla Walla. Walla Walla 1-0 on the tournament after a win last night over the Mavericks. Centralia 
as we build to three and one is one and one. They would have a win over Central Washington yesterday and then fell to the twins of Lewis and Clark. Moisture starting to pick up now. Upstairs and a walk to put runners at first and second for Walla Walla. No outs on the board, top of the third. Tie game at eight. And the parents holding down the awning as Centralia's pitching coach is going to come out and check in. We get to work with some great folks here at Missoula Prep Sports Network that love sponsoring our high school sports. And one of those would be having a anniversary this year. That would be Tip Coburn and Associates. We've been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense law in addition to other areas since 1959. If you need some legal advice, we'll get a hold of our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates as we're going to have the cleats cleaned off with moisture coming in. Give them a call today at 406-549-9186 or stop by their website at www.tcsattorneys.com. Tip Coburn and Associates lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. So the top of the order, Tyler Kyle. Kyler Tyner with the bunt, the throw to first, and it's going to be a overthrow, and that'll advance runners home. They're going to go ahead and swing around Bergevin, and he will earn the run as the batter, Tyner, will stand at third off of the air. An error. So we're going to hold for a moment here before we put anything up there as the discussion is being 15, held on well, how that worked out. It is going to be an error after the bunt. And I marked the error on the wrong side. Wild pitch will bring the runner home as he slides across his belly. And it's now 11-8. Bears. There we go. We've got everything updated as Taylor Hamada comes to the plate. 1-0 and oh on the count. Base is cleared. Three runs earned so far. Make it 11-8 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard as we get the pitch and it's back outside for a ball. Britt Lusk on the Five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. Walla Walla bullpen is empty now as they were warming up an arm early in the at bat and a walk to put a runner back on for Walla Walla takes us to Kyron Morris with no outs and a runner at first Rain coming in sideways here at Limburg Craig Field with the breeze. Here's the pitch. Bunt showing, and we'll have ball one. Kyron Morris hit by a pitch his first at bat and then singled his last. as he settles in. Hughes will clean the plate off. Runner at first, no outs. It's Hamada at first after the walk. Three runs earned here in the top of the third. We get the pitch. And it's punched upstairs. High, shallow. Going to be out of play. The left fielder comes in and cannot put it in the glove. We'll have strike one. 
on the foul ball. One and one on the count to Morris. Next game will feature Central Washington and Walla Walla. Central Washington boys, they're always fun. I think they've been here every year that I've done this tournament for the Mavericks, and they're always a fun group to be around. Back outside for ball two. They've got a... The coaches' boys are the bat boys, so they're always fun when they run out to grab the bats with their oversized batting helmets juggling around as they run out there. Runner's going to go as this one's fouled back to bring us to an even count at two apiece. Centralia searching for the first out here in the third. Runner at first. And a throw back to first, forcing Hamada to dive in. Heavy breeze. Rustling the trees. The flags aren't really standing at attention out in center field, but with the heavy breeze and the rain coming in at a Sideways glance. From first to third, if you will. Eli Brown at third. Jared Winters at short. Carter Olson is the second baseman. As the runner's going to go on the pitch, and he'll get the base. As that will be ball three to load the count. And Jackson Hole holding down first. Your outfield for Centralia is Max Taylor in left, Tegan Zilliot in center, and Luke Bennett in right. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to be down the first baseline foul, and we'll stay at the full count. Kobe Morris in the on deck circle for Walla Walla. No outs. Runner at second. Here's Lusk with the three and two. And this one will stay fair to the first baseman and he'll win the race to first. That'll be one away as the runner advances to third. Number nine, Kobe Moore. And that'll take us to Kobe Morris with one out. And a runner at third. Here's the pitch, and it's in the dirt for ball one. Hughes is going to go ahead and clean the plate off. Here's the 1 and 0 oh. upstairs for ball 2. It's Hamada standing at third with one out for Walla Walla. Here's the pitch by Lusk and this one's going to be bounced right at Lusk. He can't get a glove on it. It'll roll into center field and that'll bring the runner home from third off the hit. By Morris. We go to the catcher, Caleb Ethan, with one out, one on. And we'll have ball one to Ethan. Ethan. Fielder's choice and an infield fly. His first two at-bats is he's going to send this one on a line drive into left field. It'll hop past the left fielder. And the runner at first, Morris, will stand up at third. He's going to grab a gear and go ahead and head home. And the double will bring up 
another run for the Bears as they lead 13-8 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard and we go to Elliot Marks the first baseman runner at second one out on the board top of the third Walla Walla earning five runs in the first, three in the second, and now five in the third. As this one slides over the plate for strike one. Walla Walla brought the gate back open to rewarm up that arm they were working on before. As this one's in the dirt. Good job by Smith to keep it between his legs. Uh, otherwise, that would have been a free base. And we get two and one on the count. Oh, one and one, okay. Now we get ball two. It's Caleb Ethan standing at second with one out. Here's the pitch, and this one's a hopper down the first base line. The first baseman will put the glove around it, and that'll be two outs. Ethan will stay at second as Matt McKenzie will come to the plate with two outs. Here's Lusk with the pitch. And it's over the inside of the plate for strike one. For McKenzie, fielder's choice and a fly out. His first two at bats as Lusk will find the plate for strike two. 0 oh and 2 on the count with two outs. Lusk 53 pitches since he's come in for Hull, 26 of them over the plate. Here's the 0-2. And this bounces down the third baseline. The shortstop will pick it up. The throw to first is rocketed over, and the first baseman's got to get off the bag. It's actually going to get away from him, and the runner will score. And McKenzie will stand at second off of the air. We come to Caden McCaw now with two outs and a runner at second. And the first pitch will come in for ball one. Top of the third, two outs. Here's the pitch outside, and we'll have ball two to McCaw. McCaw walked his bo both of his plate appearances today. 2-0 and oh on the count, two outs. Breeze coming out of the west, blowing from first to third. Here's the pitch, and this one will be foul back. Brings up strike one. So the next set of games coming up is at 2.30. That will be Central Washington and Walla Walla. 5 o'clock will be Central Washington and Lewis and Clark. And the 7.30 game is Missoula and Lewis and Clark. Pitch outside will bring up ball three. With the wind, the temperature has dropped here in the last few moments. Getting icy up here in the press box. Hello, first day of summer. Here's the three and one. And it's a walk. No, they're gonna say strike one is use, lets him throw the bat before he makes the call and we'll go full on the count at three and two.
rain coming down here at Limburg Craig Field. Here's the pitch and a foul ball into the netting. Will keep us at three and two. Caden McCaw in at the plate. Bottom of the order in the on-deck circle with two outs. A runner at second. Here's the three and two pitch by Lusk. And it is a walk. That will put runners at first and second. Six runs earned for Walla Walla here in the third to make it 14 to eight on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 14 runs off of six hits. They've committed one error has Walla Walla as the bottom of the order, Josh Brigiven, comes to the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on, it'll be strike one. For the third baseman, it was a strikeout his first at bat and walked his last. As this one will be in low for ball one to make it an even count at one apiece. Here's the pitch outside and we'll bring up ball two, two and one. And the rain picking up on the field. Here's the pitch. And that one's gonna get off and away from Smith and the runners will advance to second and third as we go to a three and one count. Three and one on the count. Here's the pitch upstairs, and this time Bergevin will hold the bat before he hears the call from Hughes, and that'll put loaded bases up for the Bears as Ty Kyler Tyner, the top of the order, comes to the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's high and foul to come out right outside the door. For strike one. Two outs. And the batter. Looking to get a fresh bat as everything's getting moist here. Batter lost the bat on the swing. So he's going to have it dried off and Hustles back out to the plate. 0-1 oh on the count to Tyner. Tyner reached off a dropped third strike, his first at-bat, walked and then reached off an error, his last at-bat. This is his second at-bat on the inning as he'll swing for strike two. Loaded bases for Walla Walla with two outs, top of the third. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to be over the shortstop's head. It's going to be in the gap and a good bounce. Runners will come home from second and third. They've slammed the brakes on, and Bergevin will have to hold up, and the double will earn two runs for the Bears to make it 16-8 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. And that will bring out the coach. And it looks as though we're going to have a pitching change here at Lindbergh Craig Field. We'll hold for a moment just to see if that is exactly. It looks like players are running in to make changes. So we will go ahead and step aside. When we come back, we'll have your changes on the field. You're watching Legion Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. 
Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning, this is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN as we've got changes on the field defensively for Centralia. So Josh or Brett Lusk is done on the mound. He'll move to third. Eli Brown is now behind the plate with the mask on. And it's Bodie Smith going from the catcher's position to the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. So those are your defensive changes for Centralia as the rain continues to come down here at Lindbergh Craig Field. We'll have Taylor Hamada at the plate for Walla Walla with Kyler Tyner standing at second and Josh Brigevin at third. And if they can get through the inning, I imagine we might see the field covered up for a break as the wind or the rain continues to come down. Get a get a tarp on it before we get too much moisture. Last year we went a little bit too long. Well, we went a lot of it too long, and the boys were not able to get the tarp on the field. This one's fouled down the first baseline to bring up strike one. Eighteen to six on your fast trip Conoco scoreboard with Walla Walla on top off of sixteen runs off of seven hits. Upstairs for a ball. And we go one and one on the count. The rain's starting to come down a little harder now. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's foul down the first baseline, but out of play where nobody can get to it. We get strike two. And the rain really coming down. There goes the balloons. Balloons are gone. <laughs> Lawrence King, one of the board members here for the Missoula Mavericks. He's a great guy. Always with some sort of smart comment to keep things going. And there's a swing. That will end the side with two runners left behind and eight runs earned. We'll hold here for a second to see if they're going to call the game. They're going to bring guys out to work on the field. And we'll just hold here for a second before they decide on what they're going to do. They're just going to bring the Maverick boys out to work on the field. We'll go ahead and step aside. You're watching Legion Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. 
Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to Lindbergh Craig Field, where we're between innings, between the top of the third and the bottom of the third. The Missoula Maverick players are down on the field, putting some quick dry down, as we do have a steady drizzle coming down here at Lindbergh Craig Field. Mavericks manager Brent Hathaway out there, and he's out working this so that the boys can get their game in here with some quick dry down on the home plate area they put some down on the pitcher's mound as well and the boys coming together and putting it together we had a rainy first tournament this year for Memorial Day weekend over at Limburg Creek Field we had a, a we only had one rain delay that whole tournament with rain going on all weekend but uh, we would get a rain delay that was about an hour and 45 minutes and when it did let up, both the Missoula Mavericks and the Coeur d'Alene Lumbermen, both teams, both all players, all hands on deck, as we've got Hathaway discussing it with the manager of Walla Walla down on the field and our two umpires as they take a look at the work that the Mavericks did here with the quick dry. But it was a team effort. Great job by both teams to get the field ready. Once the rain stopped, I think it took them about 15 minutes, and we had puddles in the lanes in the outfield. And it looks like we've got a pitching change on the Five Valley Outer Pitcher's Mound as well for Walla Walla. And we didn't hear a number, so I'm not quite sure who it is. Number 20? Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Xander Norris now standing on the Five Valley Auto Pitchers Mound for Walla Walla. Walla Walla leading 18 or 16 to 8 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard here in the bottom of the third. There is an eight-run rule that does not take effect until the fifth. As the rain, as long as the rain comes in from behind us, I'm happy. My equipment will stay dry. But I know the boys on the field probably don't want to be drenched. Here, we're all bundled up. It's the first day of June in Montana with everybody underneath blankets and bundled up with warm jackets. I'm sure these Washington teams are not used to the cooler weather this time of year. So there's the throw to second. For Centralia, it'll be Britt Lusk to lead things off. Six, seven, eight batters. Lusk, Hull, and Bennett for Centralia. As use will knock some of that quick dry off the plate and now sweeps it off. And Grunfeld of Central Wa Centralia taking a break here before getting out and there's a pitch outside for ball one so for Lusk it would be a single his first at bat as this one will slide over the plate to even us out on the count here's the pitch and a bouncer down the first baseline will be fair the toss two Norris, and that's one away. Number five, Jackson Hull. We go to Jackson Hull now. For Centralia with one out and nobody on, bottom of the third. Just a light drizzle coming down now. 
as we get a swing for strike one. For Jackson Hole, it would be a single his first at bat. That would be part of that eight run second inning. They're looking to see if they can come back and do the same thing as we get strike two, zero oh and two to Hull. Hull would start on the mound and he'll be struck out swinging for the second out. Number six, Luke Bennett. Brings up Luke Bennett for Centralia with two outs and nobody on. Outside for ball one. Here's the pitch. Outside, and we'll bring up ball two, two and oh, on the count. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the pitch. That one finds the plate as we'll get strike one, two and one. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Will even us out on the count at two apiece. Here's the two and two. Swung on, foul down the third base line, and we'll stay at two and two. Here's Norris with the pitch. And this one's punched up high. It'll go over the backstop netting for a foul ball. We stay at two and two. So Norris coming in to take over for Ortiz. And in his first three batters, he's got 12 pitches. Here's a swing and a strike to end the side. Three up, three down for Centralia. Top of the fourth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Hey, are you gonna try out that new gym? I hear it's really cheap. Not a chance. They don't have group exercise classes with awesome instructors like we get at Fuel. And the owners are in New York City. What? New York City! Mm-hmm. The New York way is not the Montana way, so no way. Fuel Fitness and Nutrition, your Montana born and bred fitness chain. And unlike the others, we never close. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Lindbergh Craig Field for the top of the fourth inning between the Walla Walla Bears and Centralia Washington. Walla Walla up to bat. They lead 16-8 to eight on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Bodie Smith in to pitch on the five Valley Valley pitcher's mound for Centralia. So it'll be Kyren Morris to lead off the inning for the Bears. 3-4-5, Kyren Morris, Kobe Morris, and... Caleb Ethan to be on the schedule for the inning. For Walla Walla, they would earn five runs in the first. They would earn three in the second and then eight in the third. For Centralia, it would be a big second inning as they would earn all eight of their runs in that inning. Here's the first pitch of the inning. And it will be low for ball one. For Kyren Morris, his three plate appearance would be a hit by pitch, a single, and then he grounded out his last. Here's the pitch. Swung on, knocked into right field. Right fielder bounces in front of him. He'll glove, he'll barehand it and make the throw, and that's a runner loaded up for Walla Walla. 
We go to Kobe Morris now. Hanging out in right field for today's game is more is Kobe Morris. Runner at first, no outs. Top of the fourth. It's come to just a light drizzle now. As this one's knocked between short and third. And we'll have runners at first and second. For Walla Walla. They'll open up with some base runners. Number 21, Caleb Ethan. We go to number 21, Caleb Ethan, the catcher. As Smith would like a fresh baseball. So Smith will set his foot on the rubber in the stretch and set. Central Washington in the complex now as this one's punched upstairs. And the catcher works his way to it in the glove, and that's one away with runners at first and second. Number 10, Elliot Marks. Takes us to Elliot Marks with runners at first and second and one out. Smith with the stretch and set. And that will be a ball to start things off against Marks. Four Marks, a walk, a single, and an infield fly. His three plate appearances today. Here's the pitch. And we'll have ball two now. Elliot Marks at the plate. Marks the first baseman for the Bears as this one's lifted over the shortstop's head. They'll swing around the runner from second on his way home as the throw is made. And Kobe Morris will stand at third. The single will earn a run and put corner runners on the corners for Walla Walla. We go to Matt McKenzie. For Walla Walla. Here's the first pitch to McKenzie, and he'll duck out of the way for ball one. For McKenzie, fielder's choice, a fly, and a an error, his first three plate appearances. Here's the 1-0. And this one's going to hop past the catcher. Runner from third will advance, as well as Marks to f from first to second. And the wild pitch will earn a run. While moving Marks to second. And we get ball two. Two and oh. Here's the pitch. Upstairs, and it's a batter's count at 3-0. and oh. The stretch and set. And Smith will find himself in the count at 3-1 and one as that one comes over the plate. One out. Runner at second for Walla Walla, top of the fourth. As this one's golfed into right field, right fielder tracks it down. The runner at second will tag the base, and the threat now stands at third for the Bears. Number six, Caden McCaw. And it looks like Marks might have hurt himself. He's kind of gimpy on his left leg after coming in on the slide at third. Upstairs. We'll bring up ball one to Caden McCaw.
Here's the pitch. Swung on in a center field. Center fielder will have it in the glove. The tag at third, and the bases are cleared off the sack fly. And there's two outs now in the top of the fourth. Number 12, Josh Berger. Oh, that is three outs. Okay, that's what I thought. So that will end the side. An interesting inning here in the fourth, and we'll go to the bottom of the fourth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA Tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A Tournaments, July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournaments. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN as we move to the bottom of the fourth inning in a runaway game where the Bears of Walla Walla lead Centralia 18-8 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Xander Norris in for his second inning of duty here on the tournament for Centralia. It is the bottom of their order. Carter Olson to lead off, so 9-1-2. And we've got the scoreboard woes here at Limburg Craig Field. Here's the pitch, swung on for strike one to Olsen. Olsen was a ground ball for his first plate appearance, ground out. Here's Norris with the pitch. And that finds the plate for strike two. 0 oh and 2. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and it will be a strikeout drop third ball. And that'll put an out on the board. And Norris will take a moment to tie his shoe as we get Jared Winters the top of the order for Centralia. Here's the pitch. And Norris will slide it in for ball one to Winters. Winters, an infield fly and a single, his two plate appearances today as he'll take the swing for strike one on that pitch. Winters, the shortstop, the leadoff batter for Centralia. And it looks like the Mavericks bus is making its way into the complex here. The old bus, two and one. As the pitch is slid over the plate to bring us to an even count at two apiece. Here's the pitch, and we'll get a full count at three and two. The pitch, and it's a walk to put a runner on with one out for Centralia. Takes us to Tegan Zilliot. Zilliot settles in with Norris on the stretch and set. 
outside pitch will bring up ball one. For Zilliot, he had a strikeout swinging his first at bat and a single in his last. Here's the pitch by Norris, and it's a bouncer foul to bring up strike one. So we've got a game scheduled at 2.30. Four games today. Game one underway right now. Game two is Central Washington and Walla Walla. Game three is at 5 o'clock. Game two at 2.30. As this one is high, shallow on the infield, and both the shortstop and the pitcher are miscommunication. They'll be an out at second as the runner held at first, and that'll be two away. And we'll have a pitch dropped in for strike one. To Max Taylor. And Norris will come in along across the ankles for ball one to even the count out. One and one on the count. Back outside. Brings up ball two. So it's Xander Norris on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound for Walla Walla. Josh Bergevin at third. Kyron Morris at short. McKenzie at second. And Elliot Marks at first as this one will take us to three and one on the count. Your outfield, Caden McCaw in left. Kyler Tyner in center. And Cabe Kobe Morris in right. This one's bounced out. Norris can't put a glove on it. And the shortstop will get the hop, but they're going to say safe. And they're going to call that one an error on Walla Walla. Number 20, Eli Brown. And we go to Eli Brown for Centralia with runners at first and second and two outs. Here's the pitch. Slides over the plate for strike one to Brown. Brown singled his first at bat and then he had a sack fly his last. Norris delivers over the plate for strike two. Norris with a lot of length to him. As this one's across the chest to bring up ball one. He's got, as Norris will step off the rubber to force Zilliot back to second. We've got Zilliot at second and Max Taylor at first with two outs for Centralia. Here's the pitch outside. And we'll have an even count at two apiece. <clears throat> two and two. The final game tonight will be at 7.30. That's the Missoula Mavericks and the Twins. Here's a shot. Line drive right into the glove of the second baseman. Great play by the second baseman to have the final out. Leaves two runners stranded, and we go to the top of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratt from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the fifth inning here at Limburg Craig Field as Walla Walla leads Centralia 18 to 8 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Bodie Smith on the Five Valley Auto Pitchers mound for Centralia. For the Bears, it's the bottom of the order to lead off Josh Bergevin. So 9-1-2 Bergevin, Tyner and Hamada on the schedule. Central Central Washington on the schedule at 2.30 against these Walla Walla Bears. So the Bears will open with a double header. And then it'll be Central Washington's turn for a double header as they'll have the 2.30 and 5 o'clock game. Here's the first pitch of the inning. And Bergevin will have a check swing that's going to roll into play. Throw to first, and that will be an out. So we go to top of the order. Kyler Tyner. For the Mavericks, one out, nobody on. Lewis and Clark Twins will have a doubleheader as well as they play the 5 and 7.30 game. Three games tomorrow, 2.30, 5 and 7.30, as Smith will deliver over the plate for strike one. That one's across the shoulders for ball one, one and one on the count. So Bodie Smith coming in to take over. He'll be the third pitcher that Walla Walla faces today as this one is swung on to bring up strike two. And he's been in for an inning and a half, inning and a third, I should say. Here's the one and two. And it's over the head as it's Two and two on the count. Here's the pitch. Reached for. Short chopper. Short stop calls everybody off. And it'll be out number two. So two quick outs. Top of the fifth for Walla Walla. Takes us to Taylor Hamada for Walla Walla. For Hamada, it'd be a walk, a triple, a walk, and struck out swinging his last at bat. And Smith delivers over the plate for strike one. Two outs, top of fifth. Outside to even us out at one apiece. And that one's dropped in the dirt to bring up ball two, two and one. For Hamada, he is the designated hitter today, batting in the number two spot. Kyron Morris in the on-deck circle with two outs. And a pitch upstairs will take us to three and one. Pitch comes in, and it's a walk to put a runner on for Walla Walla with two outs. Number 13, Kyron. Takes us to Kyron Morris, the shortstop. Here's the stretch and set. Pitch on the way. Swung on. This one's 
shallow and high down the third base line. Third baseman will wrap it up, and that's a side. One left behind for the first Walla time Walla today. Walla Walla, 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 Walla will have a goose egg. And we go to the bottom of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Warning! Warning! Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning! Warning! This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we've got changes on the field for Walla Walla. It will be Josh Bergevin now at the pitcher's mound, the Five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. Kobe Morris moves from right field to third base, and Xander Norris is now in right field. So the changes. Bergevin at pitcher, Morris, Kobe Morris at third, and Xander Norris in right field. For Centralia, it'll be Bodie Smith. To lead the inning off. Five, six, seven batters. Number Smith, seven, Lusk, eight, and eight. Hull on the schedule. Bottom of the fifth. Centralia with some work to do. They need three runs to extend the game. Or the five or eight run rule will take effect here in the fifth. Here's the first pitch, and it's sent into right field. Norris will come up, puts it in the glove, and that's one away. Number 15, Britt Lusk. Brings up Britt Lusk. Here's the stretch and set by Brigevin. And this bouncer will go to the shortstop. Picked up on the hop. The throw to first is on target. And there's two outs as Voorhees Number will five, lift the Jackson. fist into the air. Hull. Takes us to Jackson Hull. With two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch is across the chest for ball one. For Hull. Single his first, and struck out swinging his second. This one's off the middle of the bat. It's going to roll second baseman, the throw to first, and that is game. So Walla Walla gets the win, 18 runs off of 10 hits. Two errors, six left behind for Centralia. It'd be eight runs, eight hits, three errors, and two left behind. Next game is at 2.30. It will feature Walla Walla and Central Washington. We'll talk to you at 2.30. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Well, goodbye!